harmonic series. What is the harmonic series? Well, it's what happens when you cram more and more sound waves into the same space, like this. The space could be a violin string, or a guitar string, or an air column, like an organ pipe. And here you see one, two, three, four, up to ten waves in the space. Why is this important? Well, for one thing, we hear these notes all the time. Every time you hear an instrument play a note, you're hearing all of the notes of the harmonic series above the main note. And the strength of the different harmonics gives you the characteristic sound of that instrument. But I'm also going to show you that the harmonic series is the basis of all Western harmony. And to do that, I'm going to need a harmonic series generating device. And I've got one here. It's called a natural horn. And using my lips, I can play the whole harmonic series. Let's take those notes a bit slower. So you can only have whole numbers of waves in the horn, not halves or any other fraction. And we're going to take each number of waves individually. Let's start with one. Actually, let's not start with one. It's too low for me to play. So let's start with two. And it sounds like this. That's a C, a low C. I'm going to leave out three waves and go straight on to four. You'll see why. This is four waves. That's another C, an octave higher than the first. I'm going to double again to eight. And 16. So they are all the notes C in different octaves, and doubling the number of waves puts you up an octave. There are more C's than any other notes on the horn, so we call that the key of the instrument. It's a horn in C. C is called the fundamental. You could also call it the tonic, because it fixes the key we're playing in. There's lots of music from around the world that uses a long note on the tonic, a drone, to fix the key. whole number of waves in the horn. We've talked about one, two and four. They're all the note C. What about three? Well, I can play that too. It's a G. If I alternate between two, three and four waves in the horn, I get this. So using the second, third and fourth harmonics, you get C's and G's, which fixes you even more in the key of C. And there's lots of music that uses a C, G drone, or the first and fifth notes of the scale. Tonic and dominant, if you want to be technical. So, the first few notes of the harmonic series give you C's and G's and fix you in a key. But this is where it gets exciting, sensual, scandalous. What happens if you put five waves in the horn? <gasps> I'm going to play harmonics two, three, four and five. Yes, it's the third of the chord. Listen to how nice that sounds. The CG fifth sounds solid. It's called the power chord in rock music. But bare. The third gives you charm, sensuousness, sweetness. So much so, it was considered vulgar at first. And more. 
it's the major third. The fifth harmonic makes the music major. The CG fifth is ambiguous. And still more. The third gives you all of harmony from the early Renaissance to rock and roll. When we say a C chord, we mean C, E and G. The third gives us the chords we need for cadences, chord sequences and long-term structure. first five notes of the harmonic series C, C, G, C, E. Okay, let's see what we have. We've had the fifth harmonic, that beautiful major third. Six is double three, so it's an octave above that first G. What about seven? The seventh harmonic is great. It's even cool. The seventh harmonic gives you the seventh of the chord. Hello. 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 He thinks he's clever, but that's just the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh notes of the harmonic series. But we've got even more spicy seventh chords. Jazz will be nowhere without them. This is all going so well. The eighth harmonic of course, is another C. The ninth, wonderfully, is a D. You see how the notes get closer together the higher you go? The tenth is another E, of course, double five. So eight, nine, ten sounds like this. At last, we've got a scale. Eleven. That sounds horrible. It's a nowhere note, somewhere between F and F sharp. 13 is even worse. What's gone wrong? All those beautiful intervals from stuffing two, three, four, up to 10 waves in a tube. Why not 11 and 13? There are two stories here one theoretical and one practical. The theoretical one is that actually some of our intervals have been getting more and more out of tune compared with the piano keyboard. Our lovely whole numbers of waves sound so satisfying, at least up to 10. On a piano keyboard, you have to stretch some intervals and squash some others. They're all out of tune, but useful. Our lovely major third, five, waves in the horn. On the piano is equivalent to 5.03968 waves. Not a big difference, but you can hear it. The practical story is how, as a horn player, do we deal with these 11th and 13th harmonics? Composers write them. One way is to live with them. They sound quaint. <laughs> into the bell of the horn and wiggle it around to put them in tune. Let's just finish the harmonic series up to 16, which is as high as we normally go on the horn. 14 is double seven, so it's an octave above that really cool B flat we had. 15 is a dead in tune, B natural, and 16, of course, brings us back to C. And here's the whole thing. I 
I've shown you that the harmonic series is important because it occurs naturally in an air column like a horn, but also on strings, and because it gives you all the intervals that occur in Western music. By the way, I've been showing the sound waves as if they go side to side like a violin string, but they don't. They go backwards and forwards like a slinky. They're longitudinal waves. But the maths and the music are the same. And another thing, I've been playing a horn in C. So you get a C harmonic series. You get a C harmonic series because the horn is 5.2748 meters long, which is exactly the right length to get one sound wave of the note C in. But if I change the length, I could play a harmonic series in D. Or E flat. Etc.